Hi, I'm Adam Lazar, Senior Graphic Designer with CJE Senior Life. Thanks for joining me today for our sewing lesson. In today's project, we're going to make a lumbar pillow. We're going to use two different fabrics, and we're also going to learn how to make an envelope closure so that we don't have to use a zipper or Velcro. The other lesson is going to be for using French seams. This is going to encase the raw edges on the inside of our pillow so that they won't unravel when we wash the pillow cover. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the supplies. This first piece of fabric is called hashtag charcoal. It has a right side and a wrong side. The right side has the design on it. I'm using all-purpose polyester thread in a medium gray shade to blend with the charcoal fabric. The second piece of fabric is bright teal. Because it is solid, it does not have a right side or wrong side, but I'll still refer to each side as such to coordinate with the charcoal fabric. Both fabrics are categorized as quilting cotton, which I suggest for beginning sewists because it's lightweight and doesn't have any stretch. Before we start sewing, cut one piece of fabric down to 14 by 17 inches. For me, that's the charcoal piece. Next, cut the larger piece down to 14 by 23. Again, that's my teal piece. My first step is to flip the charcoal piece so it lays right sides together on top of the teal piece. If the teal piece fabric had a print, I would want the printed sides to be touching each other. Line up the raw edges of the 14 inch side of both fabrics, making sure the corners match up. Pin these in place with your pins perpendicular to the fabric and pin heads off the edge. Now I'm going to sew with a half inch seam allowance along this 14 inch edge. A half inch seam allowance means the sewing machine's needle is a half inch away from the edge of the fabric. I'll be using a half inch seam allowance a lot on this project, so I put a piece of blue painter's tape on the half inch mark so I can find it easily. I butt the raw edge of the fabric up to the edge of the painter's tape and I'm ready to sew. Be sure to remove the pins before you get to the machine's presser foot and needle. All right, my first seam is done, and now I'm going to press my seams open. I do this so the bulk of the seam is minimized and evenly distributed on both sides. Now I'm going to fold over the raw edge of the other 14-inch side on both fabrics, folding it over about half an inch, approximately, pressing it, and then folding it over once more, again, about a half inch. We don't need to be perfect right here, just as long as you get it pretty close. Now the raw edge is hidden, and the pins that I'm going to use will keep it in place on my way to the sewing machine. Be sure to do this on both fabrics on the 14-inch edge, so that they have their raw edges folded over and hidden. Now I'm going to sew these two hems down right in the middle of the two folds. I'm not using a seam allowance here, just trying to aim for the middle. Now that those hems are sewn, all four of the 14 inch edges are taken care of. I've placed the fabric right side down on my work surface and I'm bringing the finished edge of the smaller piece, the charcoal one, over to the seam that joins the two different fabrics together. I want to make sure that these two seams line up perfectly on both sides of the project. I'm pinning the fabric together to keep it in place. I want the overall width of the pillow cover to be 17 inches. So I'm using my ruler and placing the 17 inch mark at the fold of my smaller piece and the zero end of the ruler inside the larger piece so I can fold it over. Now I have 17 inches. I'm unpinning and lifting up the smaller piece and laying the larger piece underneath it. This overlap is going to create the envelope closure of our pillow. I'm just checking, nope, not quite lined up, so I'll adjust it so that it's perfect. You'll see why this is important at the end. And now I just need to readjust the rest of the pins so that the fabric lays flat. 
and let's do the same thing on the other edge. Now I'll sew a narrower quarter inch seam allowance to close the sides up. I've done that to both long sides and now I need to turn the cover inside out and I'm using a chopstick to help me push out the corners. This is a pretty handy tool to have in the sewing room. Now that it's inside out, I want to make sure the seams are flat and I can sew a half inch seam allowance down both long ends. Yep, that's right, I'm sewing these edges twice. Once when it's right side out with a quarter inch seam and once when it's inside out with a half inch seam. That's a French seam. Well, that's it for the sewing portion, but I want to point out that when I sew over the seam that I pressed open at the beginning, I'm very careful that these don't get caught under the pressing foot or needle. I want these to remain flat and open. All right, let's turn it back so it's right side out and we're nearly finished. Let's give our pillow cover a good press to get out all the wrinkles, and then I can stuff the pillow inside our completed cover. And there it is, our completed pillow. And now you can see why it's important to get those edges lined up. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you soon for our next sewing project. Be sure to check out cje.net for more information and the next project.